I may not be able to leave my hair down today. Bit toasty. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to leave my hair down today. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Entirely no idea what. Whatever. All right. Let's move the mouse cord over so it doesn't get caught. There we go. Now, what are we doing? getting caught on. Stop, mouse. Stop. Uh. Hmm. This is gonna be annoying. Remind me to clean off my desk. <laughs> Alright. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Um, tab. Okay, I did not say alt tab. That is not what I said. Store a part of the Helios 1 mainframe via an auxiliary generator. Okay, I guess that's what I'm looking for right now. Okay. There a reason that the cord is smoking? <laughs> That's probably not a good thing. Huh. This generator looks to be fine, but some kind of large vermin is chewed in the power cable. With the proper know-how and some scrap metal, you could repair the connection and improve its output bandwidth. Otherwise, you'll need help. A repair of 35 or higher and one piece of scrap metal required. And my repair is how much? That's 40. So I guess I don't have scrap metal. I guess we need to go find that. Alright then. A coffee pot be scrap metal? Right. I'm in steak. Could the pilot light be scrap metal? <clears throat> I don't know. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll do that occasionally. I guess I'm getting more comfortable with assuming that someone is somewhere out there watching, even if I don't see them. Thank you, Super Squaw. I appreciate it. Because, yeah, it is kind of weird. I don't know if a pilot light is scrap metal. Oh hey, scrap metal. <laughs> it's alright. And hello, Skeleton. How are you today? Scrap metal removed. Use me, Rex. The internet is very weird. I'll agree with that. Let's see. Welcome to Poseidonet General. Configure power grid, initial trials, Archimedes testing. Hmm. Karen in Las Vegas, Fremont West Side, full region, Archimedes 2. <laughs> Full region emergency output level. What's the difference between regular full region and emergency output level? I don't know. Hmm. You better you don't have a PS3, do you? Well, I'm not sure what the first half of that was, but uh, I do not have a PS3, no. Sorry. Oh, that's fascinating. Hmm. Initiate reflector retargeting from the console and the tower observation deck. All right. Huh. Yep, crazy stuff. The internet comes up with some very interesting things. I will. I'll agree with that one. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, that's bizarre. Who knows? Hey, look, it's a thing. What does this thing do? I don't know. Didn't there used to be lines separating each person's chat on the chat in Twitch? Because it looks different, I'm trying to figure out how. Kind of throwing me off. Talk Python. Okay. There is stuff on the thing. But what is this stuff on the thing? I don't know. <laughs> Has it all? Does it? Has it? Huh. It just looks weird. I don't know. Eh. Whatever. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be walking like that. Nope. Didn't seem like a very safe walkway. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Probably. I wouldn't doubt it. Maybe we're supposed to walk under it. Or not. Alright. What am I doing up here? Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to get in like the hundreds this week, and before I started streaming, my computer was telling me that it's it was 99 outside. 
So it's probably going to get even hotter out. I'm not looking forward to. However, this morning, in an effort to reduce the heat in my room, I covered my window entirely with foil. Which actually, it's doing really well, because since normally my computer shuts off at uh, around 95 out, and it's 99, and it's the power cord is still on, I guess it's working. So, yay. You slipped last week? Do you mean you slipped and fell, or you slipped into insanity last week? Or a little of both. <laughs> um, I noticed that. Thank you for following me. Um, I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with it outside of the, uh, outside of the convention this coming weekend, but, uh, we'll see. In the meantime, I don't really have much to take pictures of, so. Yep. Yeah. Stupid summer. I hate summer. Sucks. Flipped into insanity? Ah, I see. Well, that's unfortunate, but... As, uh, as the Cheshire Cat says, we're all mad here. Let's see. The console is unresponsive. For it to operate properly, it would need to be activated during peak sunlight hours, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Power configuration would need to be set up in the tower's mainframe, and the two ground-level terminals would need to have an active uplink to the mainframe. Have I done those things already? <laughs> I guess, I guess that is true. Oh, my Instagram is for cats? For my cat? Uh, probably, but I think she's probably lazing around, probably in the air conditioning in the next room. So, it's like, yeah, go away, human. It's too hot. I just don't, just don't even. Um, so I guess I have to wait till peak sun hours then? Because I'm fairly certain I've done everything else. <laughs> I will not eat the skitters. She's quite safe. Let's see, what time is it? 3.23 a.m. Uh, yes, let's try that. See what happens. Talk to Ignacio. Ignacio. Ow, my eyes. Ow, my eyes. I know, right? There's no need to sleep. That's, that's dumb. It's a waste of time. Got things to do. Alright. <laughs> yep. Time passes quickly when you're having fun, right? Right, right? Um, now where, where is this Ignacio person? By the way. Um, did you just jump down? Okay. So much door slamming. Um, how do I get out of here? I don't know. Uh, no? Nope, not that way. Hmm. Ah. Uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, kind of crazy, huh? I mean, it's great, because I literally need a job by the end of the month, or I'm totally fucked, but, uh, yeah, it's still pretty crazy, though. <laughs> well, if you wanted to count all the way through my entire time of streaming, it's been about two or three years, but, uh, I've just never taken it seriously until now. Mm. 
Whee! Ah, uh, this way! Oh, hey, exit. I don't like that sound. Wait, is this... this is where I just came. Okay. Unfortunately, I do as well. Yep. Yes, she do. Unfortunately. <sighs> and I will say it's really frustrating because, um, I mean, it's frustrating anyway, but the most recent disappointment was extra disappointing. Uh, at the end of my, uh, undergrad, I interned at a uh, animation studio, actually. It's actually like five minutes from my house, it's really convenient. But, uh, so I interned there for a few months, and it was really great, and I loved working there, and it's amazing. Well, they had a position open that would be really easy for me to do, even though it's not technically what I've been trained for, but I could pick it up. I applied to it, and even though I had on there that I had interned there, like they didn't even call me it's like well shit so what I'm gonna have to go to like work at a candy store or some shit oh hey it's you what can I help you with mm. I saw that on the monitors here and you sent it to everyone very admirable now that the NCR is more or less what they want hopefully their curiosity about the plan is satisfied and they'll dig no deeper the followers will be grateful. Here, take these as a parting gift. I hope you'll find them useful. Achievement unlocked. That lucky old son. Big book of science? Oh man. Yeah, probably. Which is even more infuriating. Like, come on. I, I already have my goddamn ID. Like, in fact, I could probably still get at the door if I walked in. Not like they deactivated my RFID chip in it. How do I exit out of these things? Goodbye. Accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Yay me. Over encumbered. Ugh. The problem is that I've been doing that for much too long. Like, I sh should actually be putting my skills to use and getting paid for it at this point. Uh, like, I'm getting much too old to be held back like this, and it's getting really fucking annoying. What am I looking for? Uh, items. You can use that book now, right? Uh, Bobby Penn, a big book of science. Put glue in their door locks? Oh. Uh, I don't know if that would go very well, but I kind of want to. Science increased by three. Yay me! Alright. Now what do I do? Oh, nope, that's not it. Um, data, there we go. Quests. Mm. Have I not done this? Or no, that's at the... That's at the place, isn't it? The place with the thing. Um... Uh, Ant misbehaven. Help the boomers around Nellis. I was supposed to get something somewhere. Hmm. This is what happens when you don't play in a while. Pfft. Now, how do I get out of here? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, we. It's a very happy looking dog. You may have to go back to being a carer. What is a carer? There we go. Hmm. Uh, I hate summer so much. Hmm. Let's see. Hold on. Hmm. Ah. I see. I do not envy that job. My lack of social skills would be especially inept in that situation. What am I looking for? Hope not. Let's see what the temperature is now, outside. Bark, 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 bark! I see. Well, I'm not very good at that either. <sighs> like most people tend to get irritated at my lack of conversation. Okay, why do we have two things here? Oh, okay. Oops. Why are all my apps crashing lately? What the hell? Okay. Once a Republican, always a Republican. Alright. Let's see, it says currently 97, but feels like 104. Uh, that's, that's so fun. Just, just love summer. But I'm not really talking to myself, I'm talking to you. Just because I can't hear you doesn't mean that I'm not talking to you. I read whatever you say in chat. It's the same thing. Except I don't have people talking over me. Which happens a lot. What is... oh. Uh... I don't know. Over here? Yeah. Hmm. Eat this. All right. Ugh, it is Monday. Ant meat. <laughs> Except I only conversation like this, like in normal discussions, I don't really... I don't talk much. <laughs> you do even a conversation bore. What? Bro. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I suppose so. Lead pipe. But, ah, over encumbered. Only for certain reasons and certain manners. Let's see. Come here, you. Ah. Can't run from me. 
I need you to hold some stuff. Fine by me. Weapons. Hmm. Hold all that. Um. Give you a party hat, but you won't wear it. Keep that for myself. Um, cat eye. Ah. Need miscellaneous. Yay, caps. Thanks. Am I still over encumbered? Seriously? Ugh, yeah. Come back here. Fine by me. Carry more stuff. Weapons, apparel, a miscellaneous ammo items. All right. Let's give you laser rifle. Scenarios grenade rifle. Let's give you that one. Okay. You went in with a knife. Good job. What board? Hmm. Rex, you got in the way. Okay, apparently I'm not going to jump that gap. Seriously. Like, don't you see? I'm trying to do things. What is this? Oh, a light. Scrap metal. Metal box. Calm down, doggy. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but at least it's not total pain in the ass, right? And egg clutch. Did nothing. Uh, no, it's Facebook actually. <laughs> I have an extension that uh, 
makes Facebook into a My Little Pony theme, and that's the sound effect for a chat. makes Facebook a bit more interesting and uh, not quite as ugly. Alright. Yes, I should see what they're saying. <laughs> uh, yeah, kinda. Which reminds me, actually, I should probably check my email real quick and make sure... Okay, nothing from the, uh, the guy. I finally got the uh, cards emailed just before I started streaming. Emailed to the printer, so... I haven't paid for them yet, so I need to see if he's, uh... Yeah, sent me that shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's a squee sound. I, I don't know what to tell you. But it is from My Little Pony, yes. After the incident? And what incident is that, Super Squaw? <laughs> well, it is a highly entertaining noise. So, I can't blame you. <laughs> Yay! Keep looking. <laughs> All right, Rex. Yeah, I was discussing that with uh, was it Rex the other day? That at least for game devs, anyway. We never really grew up, we just learned how to interact with the actual adults. We had discovered Nellis Array, right? Well, that's really fucking creepy. That's, uh... Yeah. That's weird. Just, wow, that's... Very awkward. Yes, function in society. In adult society. Uh, generator power source unavailable. Check all cords and plugs for connection. Hmm. How typical. Are there uh, ants up here too? Erg. I stuck on. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Reflector panels on this array are damaged. Salvage parts could be used to repair the array. Would you like to repair the array? Repair 65 or higher required, or use solar array parts? Um, using your knowledge of, <laughs> wow, what, uh, photovoltaic cells, you thoroughly clean, polish, and upgrade the solar panels. You also clean and rewire some degraded circuits you spotted. Array efficiency improved by 50%. All right. Okay, well, I would say that's double the creepy. It was creepy enough already, but then that's even more creepy. Use Helio salvage panels. Okay. Yep, that's that's pretty weird.
I tend to have all of my stuff on lockdown. I don't. I don't want anything like that happening. <laughs> mm. Your house is breaking. That's not good. What's happening to your house? Is it falling apart? Um, I kind of doubt it, but uh, who knows? Yeah, I didn't think so. All the broken solar rays are repaired. Cool. Stuck there? Alright. Now where do we go? Oh, that's not good. Should uh, probably get that taken care of. Or more ants get in. Hey, Karsten. Welcome back. How have you been? Talcum powder? You mean like baby powder? Hmm. I haven't heard of that working. I know there's like. I never can pronounce this right. Is it dichotomous earth? That you can. that kills bugs. But, uh. Also, cayenne pepper apparently will. divert ants as they taste through their feet and they don't like hot spicy things. Huh, interesting. I have not heard that one. I guess that's one way to prevent babies from getting an ants? Yes, maybe not. Well, that's fair. I mean, I totally understand it. But I just had not heard that they didn't like talcum powder. Hmm. Cayenne pepper also does not kill them. They just don't like it. Hmm. <laughs> it's okay, Carson. You didn't miss much. I was just asking how you were. Or how you've been, rather. Um... What? <laughs> I see. Wait, this is the other side. Wrong side. But isn't this where... What? <laughs> Probably. I wouldn't know, because I don't deal with those things, but, uh... Probably. I don't doubt it. Alright, where, where are these ants? Apparently. Here, ants, ants, ants. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed. I'm doing well, thank you. And not not recently? Has there been more news about it? Ah, ant. Eat this. Yep, 
There's gonna be a fourth one. Something wrong, Super Squaw? Okay. Get everything? Is there a new announcement about it? Question mark? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's okay. Don't worry about it, Super Squaw. <laughs> Keep looking. Hmm. Hey, stuff. Ammunition box. Ah, interesting. Hmm. But wasn't it originally announced for Halloween? I wonder why I decided to move it back. Maybe he was afraid of uh, people losing interest between now and then. Interesting. Oops. Oh. Hmm. Well, that does make sense. Although, I'm not sure if that's as good of an idea as Halloween, but I guess if he's doing DLC on Halloween, then that's as far as, you know, business decision decisions go. I suppose that's fine. Hmm. Interesting. Jump. 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 Oh. All right. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time, Super Squaw. Thanks for joining in for the day. And uh, don't get electrocuted. That would be bad. Oh, hey. Weapon. Ah. We're encumbered again. Salt carbine. Guess it's only the one. Hey Boone, come here. Need you to carry something. Um, I recall saying something about the character that's going to be in it, but I don't recall exactly what. Fine by me. Mm -hmm. Take this. Excellent.
Can't run from me. <laughs> okay. Hello, Gaff, and yes. Yay, exploding things. Woo. All right, now what do I do? Um, I need to go back the other way, I guess. It's underground rooms are getting confusing. Pretty much really don't even need to shoot anything. Just kill them for me. Explosives are usually fun in any game, but uh, they could be especially fun in this. I have noticed that, yes. They just kind of keep coming. Like, I thought I killed you guys. Get out of here. This. <sighs> Look, kill all the ants. Done. Cool. Changing the screen to the kill screen is... That throws me off sometimes. A bit much. Well, I was trying to, and they just kind of keep going in different places. Yeah, I guess that goes back there. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> yeah, between Boone and Rex, I don't really have to do anything. Just shoot, because I can. <laughs> uh, haven't I fixed all of this? What's going on? Oh, can I? I might do that. Kind of cool, and at the same time, kind of kind of frustrating. Okay, so those are both going back over there. Uh, what? Data? Quests? I see. Blah. Hmm. Just because I can. Alright. Fantastic. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely getting there for me. Alright. What do we upgrade next? Lockpick, medicine, melee, repair. <laughs> no, I'm not sick. I am slowly roasting in my house, though, so, I mean, there's that. Uh, when I checked a minute ago, I was saying, like, it's... It was 97, but feels like 104, I think. One in science. <laughs> Okay, we'll put one in science. There we go. Now it's up to 75. But, uh, normally, when it hits about 95, then my power cord shuts off. However, this morning, in an effort to reduce the heat in here, especially because it's supposed to be in the hundreds this week, I covered my window in foil. So, since my power cord hasn't shut off yet, I guess it's working pretty well. 
but it's still miserably hot. Let's see. Neek. Speech. Repair. Let's up that to 45. Medicine. Up that to 15. And what else? Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's that's not good. I don't think it's probably bad. Uh, is, is it from watching such intense gaming going on? Or a lack of desire to do anything else except watch the stream? Who knows? Or maybe I just happen to stream at the time of day where you actually would like to take a nap and they just converge together. Plush trap. Hmm. That sounds pretty interesting. Also, how do they have the code already? BTW? That's. What? Does he release part of the code for people to look at? <laughs> yep, you never know what I'm gonna upgrade next. Totally important, incredibly. Incredibly influential decisions. Gotta make. Man. Do 75. Upgrade lockpick. Guns. Maybe. Um, yeah, I guess let's do that. Whatever. Hmm. Or maybe I should do sneak. Hmm. Meh. Meh. Okay. Eh. Too late. I'll do barter next time. I have kind of been thinking about that, but I've also been kind of avoiding it, so I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Ugh, my poor little turret. He just can't stand up. Alright, now what do we do? These things? No, not these things. That didn't sound good. Assuming I'm going the right way. I'm probably not. Nope. I probably need to go back downstairs. Yes. Okay, I guess I had to go the other direction. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. Let's check the quest log. Restart the two array generators, then reset the main power breaker. Oh, okay. I do have the second one. I do not have the third one. Which, the second one is next in line, I believe, after I finally finish dead space whenever that happens. Oh, hey! Missiles and nukes. How'd I miss those? Guess I can't take those. Okay. But, uh... I've been thinking for 
three or four weeks now that I'd be done with uh, with the Dead Space, and it just kind of keeps going. So I don't know when that game is going to finally end, but uh, we'll see. Where do I need to go? <laughs> I know, Gaff. I know. You will see it soon. I I promise. Am I? Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> if you would like to, you can. And thank you, Karsten. I would appreciate that. This thing? Nope, not that one. Where do I need to go? I also have Counter-Strike Global Offensive, but I don't tend to play it much because I'm not competitive. <laughs> But when I have played it with friends, it's been pretty fun, though. Wait. Is this it? Hey, hey, there we go. That's what we've been looking for. Cool. What now? Now we leave? Let me pause for just a second here and check to see if these people have emailed me. Email five. Okay. No reply yet, so hopefully they're getting them printed and uh, will email me eventually to get them paid for. Yeah, I think most people stream competitive games when they when they stream. That's it's just not my cup of tea. Arms race? I'm not sure I've heard of that. What's that game about? Or no. You that's a play that's a play mode, isn't it? Ah. See, I haven't played CSGO in forever, so I don't even remember that. <laughs> Silly me. Oh, no, this way. Okay. Ah, uh, hello, Ryan. I'm okay, and I am not marrying anyone. I'm sorry. That's uh, not my thing. Okay, you know what? Q. Speedrunners and casuals. Yeah. Yep, yep. Speed runs are also quite popular. I know a lot of people get uh, satisfaction out of that, but I, I don't. Power shark on. The answer all dead? Maybe Pearl is right about you, because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Boomer's fame gained. Light. Enough news of your good works has passed around that people like you. Yay me. Aunt misbehaving. Ah, punny. So punny. Alright. Quests. What do we do now? Okay. Mini this boomer. Control, ready for liftoff. What's your five by five? Okay, see ya. Wow, her face is super ugly. Did you see that? Mini boomer. What? Um. From what little I was able to hear of it, it sounded pretty good. But, uh, nope, this is not where I wanted to be. Let's go back. 25? 25 what? <laughs> or is that the station number? Question mark. Alright, that's one.
I don't know how you survived the bombardment. That's incredible. Hello, outsider. Need something? Um. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> Good point. Yay, math. Mm. No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the skies. Where are you going to get all the gas to do that? <clears throat> Later. Idolized. Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are idolized by the community. Oh, man. All right, then. Turn to Pearl. Hello, Pearl. <laughs> well, that's what happens. Uh, yep. You kill a few enemies, your weapons change. For what? Doesn't go from Famas to AK-47, but if. Run that by me again? You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Okay. We have to go back. Yes, go. When you kill an enemy, your weapon. You can't keep that thing under control, I will. What are we even talking about? Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. Oh, the rest of your text is hiding. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't see it. Down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? I say that's not gonna work, but uh, you can try all you want. <laughs> I see. Lol. Oh, puns. What would we do without you? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Mm, um, okay. If it gets Good. blown up, it's not my Here's fault. Deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. And hit the button. Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. Talk to Jack. Who is Jack? You can't keep that thing under control, I will. What are you talking about? Local map. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, 
Ah, shit. I forgot again, didn't I? Thank you for reminding me, Skeleton. I will write down a note for that, because I will forget again. Ugh. Yeah, this is what happens when you try to do a billion things all at once. It's like trying to get the cards out this morning. God, everything was lagging so much because the files are huge. Like, trying to get that out quickly because we need them by Thursday, so it's going to be a rush order. And it's like, I'm super late for my stream. I totally forgot about that. So thank you for reminding me. Much appreciated. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I forget things easily when it comes to that. <laughs> yep, it, it just keeps going. It's like, but it's... But the title it says it's five. What? Hey there. Back for more? I have me? No, I have not. Karsten, however, I'm not sure. Have you, Karsten? I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Corn silk rubber hose and removable adhesive. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. Fantastic. Later. All right. Uh, world map? Yep. Yes. I think. Mm -hmm. All right. Ah, I see. Ugh, Cazadors. Company. Oh god, they're coming. Help! Run away! They don't see me. Um, I guess we'll find out, Skeleton. I'm not 100% sure myself. Alright. There's a plane at the bottom, eh? <laughs> Maybe he was getting tired of trying to balance something so difficult. <laughs> Let's put that away. Go over to items. In aid. Mm, nope, miscellaneous. Uh, no, apparel? Oh, yeah, here we go. Maybe. I don't know.
Crashed B29. All right. Hmm. Now, where am I supposed to be attaching this ballast? Ah, <laughs> uh, I guess that could be why. Oh, here we go. This appears to be a good location to attach one of the deployable ballast packages. Would you like to attach it to the plane? Yeah, so I suppose that could be why. I don't know. Patch ballast. All right. Okay. Turn to the shore near the tow winch. Uh, let's not go that way. Over here. Stops beeping? Okay. I guess this is the uh, range that I need to set it off at. Um. wing doesn't look very good. Like the whole thing looks uh, pretty destroyed, but if you think you can fix it, I applaud you. Alright. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll just go with that. Alright, wait, come back here. Come back! Data. Over here. Yes. Sorry, no. It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. Okay. I just told you. The robots oh. are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Are you planning to use diversionary tactics to draw their attention? Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. <clears throat> You okay over there? Thank you.
Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. Boomer's helmet added. Hmm. Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. You do realize that a B-29 does not fly like a you know, F-16 or any other small jet that they are probably flying in the Thames. No, of course they don't realize that. <laughs> you look like a sloth in the morning, Karsten. I see. Bye. <laughs> I think we're all rather slothful in some sense in the mornings. Okay, let me take a minute here to check my email again, make sure it's going according to plan. Okay, nothing from them so far. Alright, let us continue. You all going? Hey, bye. Have fun. Still don't know where I'm supposed to be going here, though. Once a Republican, always a Republican. Okay. Oh, I see. I went back to wildcard. Alright then, what now? Mm. Sure. Wait, come back. World map. That person. They got spies all over. <laughs> is is that a dinosaur? You turn into a dinosaur when you see funny things? Interesting. Is this person? Is it you? It is not you. They say those robots on the strip are running around with different faces or something. Don't ask, because I don't know. Okay.
guess I will never find who this person is that I'm supposed to be talking to. Oh, I see. I've heard that elite units are on the way to support our armies here. Oh, it's you again. What is it? <laughs> there, do you ever uh, engage in battles with other laughing dinosaurs when that happens? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. A little. Ah, oh, I see. The uh, Indominus Rex. That's pretty intense. I guess I don't. That's why I'm here. You do that? Great. I really appreciate that. <laughs> you accidentally eat goats? <clears throat> I don't know how you can accidentally eat a goat. How often do you run into goats? Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. Hmm. Really? The tops, huh? Well, it's no Shark Club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Even Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I'll check it out. Thanks. Alright, I finally found that guy. Yes, I I saw the movie. It was awesome. And yes. <laughs> Is this surprising? <laughs> yeah, yeah. See you later. I like how there's just a motorcycle parked in here. Like what? Huh. Are you sure that's not bait? Because people might be hunting you. Dinosaurs aren't very common anymore. You should go take a nap somewhere. Recoup some of that health. Um, let's see. Alright, so... Looking for that one. Well, that's not good. What are you getting sidetracked by? Um, I don't know. I need to set up the poll this week because I forgot again. <laughs> Luckily, Skelly Day reminded me, so I wrote a note to myself and I will hopefully... Is it in here, I guess? Hmm. So hopefully, I will... Remember to do that before tomorrow. <laughs> I always suspected Benny was a coward. Benny is a coward. Okay, so I guess it's not here. It must be on the other side or something. Ah, oh, that's annoying. 
Hmm. Have you told him to just get over himself? Old rebirth, or don't you have it? Um. What? What is that? I'm sure B O L is short for something, but off the top of my head, I'm unsure. I don't know what I'm looking for yet again. I see. Hmm. So in what way is he closed minded about it? Like what style of music to play or lyrics or something? Ah, Binding of Isaac. Um, I have the first one, but I don't have the second one. I haven't even played the first one either. All my friends were addicted to it for a while, but I just had no interest in playing it. <laughs> I should probably get around to it eventually. I don't I don't get it. Don't know what I'm looking for. I guess let's just remove it or something. <laughs> well, that uh, is probably me. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> I like to keep my accounts for streaming unified. <laughs> That's what I've gathered, but I just haven't tried it yet. Random shootout. That's that's pretty annoying. Oh my. Are you stuck with them just because there's no other options or are they just so good that you feel like they need to be the ones? It's generally speaking it kind of seems like you should put priority on everybody getting along. As well as talent of course, but you know. You can have peace in the band. You uh, should always go for that. Hmm. Who knows? Could be anything. Okay, it's not the robot. Not her. Hmm. Not him. Move oh, bone. Ah, Rex. Sure, later. This guy. Hey, come on, lady. I'm trying to put on a show here. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. The name's Knight, Billy Knight. And this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you, oi. Woof. If you're not the most sarcastic dame I ever met, your standards are so low, they could use you at the annual Gamora Sassy Limbo competition. As the bar. <laughs> if you want, <laughs> it's up to you. If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me, first thing she said was, Boy, that's a funny looking kid. 
I guess I got a face only a mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. Breaks better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells! Okay. Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for a hundred a night. No, fifty. No, twenty. Ten. Just don't rob me. I'll do it. What? Six daisies. Here I come. Okay. Two remaining. All right. Okay, now who's left? Ah, <laughs> uh, stream is freezing again. That's annoying. Sorry, Skeleton. Okay. You? Not you. Hmm. <laughs> I see. Okay. Well, I will let you know if I see anything happen. <laughs> Move, bone. Who are you? Almost yeah, boy. Oh, that's your own problem. Who is this? Jump. Jump. Traveler. Is your friend one of those elite troops we've been hearing about? No. Jump. <sighs> okay. Erg. Hmm. Traveler. Hey. Promoter. Buddy in inside, maybe? I don't know. Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. <sighs> I have not seen anything, no. From my cold, dead hands. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? The tops. Have a good time, baby. <sighs> These guys, they're annoying. Let me check my email again real quick. Okay. Still nothing. All right. Let us continue. Who thought it was a good idea to give the robots missile launchers? Mr. House, apparently.
Well, well, well. If it ain't the best love cat on the strip in my theater, what could Tommy do for you, baby? You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Here's your 3%, baby. You enjoy that. Okay. That comedian, you mean? Yeah, he practically begged me to hire him. Didn't even haggle. Here's your three percent. <laughs> Any day, baby. Any day. His jokes? I don't think so. You know it, baby. Uh. Take it easy, baby. Ugh, stop talking like that. Whee! Hmm. Thanks. Um, should be another hour and a half, but I don't know. I started super late. Okay, well, I'll see you later, Karsten. Thanks for hanging out. Yes. I have a stream personality and I have a regular personality. <laughs> Which is usually how these things go. What? Who? What? I guess it depends on the topic, but I'm kind of a smart ass anyway. <laughs> oh, hello, Skeleton. That is good. <laughs> Apparently, we're discussing ending the stream early because the mother unit would like food. So, we'll see. Yes, well, pretty much, I haven't either. As if I haven't. You have a better idea? Do not understand. I wonder where Benny ran off to. Who knows? Who cares? Ow. Ow, that hurts. Hmm. Yes, let's try it again. Jump. Jump. Hmm. What? They're in the freezer. Don't. Unless you want to be on video, don't come over here. Uh, it's 
burning up. <laughs> oh yeah. Why are you having fun with that skeleton? <laughs> Step one. Yes. Not sure how much further it'll get, but uh, we'll see, I suppose. Lead pipe. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all. Hmm. So someone in here? Well, if it isn't my number one fan, what can I do for you, number one fan? Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garretts. They'll never let me out of it. Huh. Good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. Yeah, go on. Scram. They are pretty entertaining. Oops. I always suspected Benny was a c coward. You're drunk. I hear the Legion is camping out across the river. I hope they're not planning to attack. Those bloodthirsty mole rats are never up to any good. Now why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. I suppose you've got a point. Plenty of Brahmin on the prairie and all that. Fine, I'll cut him loose. He's all yours. Yay me. Yep. Uh, any luck with Garrett yet? Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? That's great. Thank you. Day. One remaining. Okay. Reinforcements? I hope they don't decide to bring All right. Now to figure out who the last person is. Yep, Kitty's gonna be all over Instagram. Most popular account. <laughs> that much of a habit, huh? Little fluffy skaters. 
Okay, let me pause the game real quick and check if there's any... Okay. Still nothing from the printers. Let us continue the game. And little skitter cat, you're burning up. Poor kitties. It's so hot and they're all covered in fur. Horrible. Uh, where is this person? Ah. Someone over here, maybe? Always a pleasure. Over there. No, this is showing something different. Well, no, I guess that's talking to the person. Who's the last person? What? Yes, little skeeters. Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Yeah, yeah. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. Now that have a good time, baby. Morning. Well, well, well. If it ain't the best love cat on the strip in my theater, what could Tommy do for you, baby? That ugly mug with the razor tongue? Dig it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act. Just like Tommy promised. Here's your 3%. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Alright. Cool. You know it, baby. Take it easy, baby. <laughs> Glad to be done with that. Alright, what do I do now? Quests. Hmm. I guess I can continue with that. The way I hear it, some big leaguer NCR rangers are coming to town to dance. Revolting cocktail lounge. Okay. Hmm. Have to look. Let's see. Eat this. Do, 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 do. Um, actually, summer so hot. Wow. Dashboard. Um. Well, I have a super long list, but I should probably trim them down some. And the entire list, One Night at Flumpty's, Yender Simulator, Terra Enigma Continued, Moonbase Alpha, Black for PS2. Don't know if Super Squad is going to be around this Friday, so possibly not that one. Uh, Quake Live with the viewers, Doom Multiplayer with viewers. 
That kind of also depends on if Super Squad is watching. Uh, Odd World, an emulator, Doom 3, Brutal Doom, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Golden Axe, 007 Nightfire, Perfect Dark for N64, and Fear Effect. That's what I have on my list here. Oh, I'm burning up. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> I have quite a backlog of uh, suggested games. Um, puzzly games can be good. I mean, I hate mazes, but, uh, you know, I'll deal. <laughs> Where am I going? Okay. Oh, I see. Let's get... Stop pushing things around. Little fluffy key. Um... Yes. You also. I'll sit tight. Okay. Ah, I see. Well, I'm willing to add it to the list of suggestions, if you like. Whee! Not a door! Your presence here, let's just say it's highly irregular. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. <laughs> Alright, well, can if you want, Skeleday, it's up to you. And as it would be a gifted game, then that would actually go to the front of the line for... Friday games, so... Nothing gets in or out of here without me knowing it. Mm -hmm. Normally, that would have fallen under my jurisdiction, but the Elder thought it provided a good test for you, so I backed off. I do not, no. Under the lockdown, only essential personnel are permitted to enter or leave. That includes supply runners and high security patrols. All other personnel are forbidden to leave, and any personnel that were out there when the lockdown was enacted are forbidden from returning. Fine by me. Mm -hmm. Later. Okay. Back this way, I suppose. Whee! Mark six turret. And you buy me. Well, you cannot buy me. <laughs> but, um... Yep. Donating money and specifying a certain game will do that. Uh, or it can, I guess. Oh, I'm running up. Or, uh, donating the game directly through my stream account. What? Let, let's rephrase that entire sentence. Gifting the game through my Steam account. There we go. <laughs> A lock action figure. What would that even look like? That, huh. Now I'm curious what that would look like. Uh... Jeans and a t-shirt. I don't know. 
least interesting action figure ever. I guess it could come with a gaming headset. That would that would be a thing. Our instruments show some impressive power fluctuations coming from across the river. What's going on over there? <laughs> special squad that is quite possible. I guess the NCR is finally getting serious about fighting the Legion. Like it's just like an empty box. Like yeah, she's uh, invis she's in invisible mode. It's fine. It's totally normal. Yes, there there is a horde of kappas in my stream chat. So now where am I? Sit chair. Hello. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? As you may have already I'll look at it in a second. This entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. Hmm. And hello, Renegade Turtle. Welcome back. Unfortunately, I think I'll be logging off soon, because... Between food and it's scorchingly hot in here, I uh, should probably log off soon. For the time being, how have you been? Let's see... Of course I have, many times, in fact. The Elder has an open-door policy and will listen to advice on any subject save this one. He refuses to see that our isolation is slowly weakening us. Aside from being our duty, going out on missions is what kept us strong. And because he fails to see that, he must be replaced. I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an Elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters. So they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? If I become Elder, the lockdown will be lifted, and we'll once again be able to send patrols out into the wastes. We'll become powerful again. And when that happens, it will be good to have the Brotherhood as an ally. Good enough? Blah. Um, probably not much. I forget the last time you tuned in and what I've done since then. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard, Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. Okay. Interesting. That looks like a very uncomfortable bed. Hey, stop biting me. Um, well, I did Dead Space this past Thursday. I've still yet to complete the game. 
Um, I did not do anything Friday because I was busy trying to get my uh, files for our card game arranged for printing, which I finally sent off just before the stream today, actually. I have no idea where I'm going. Alright, let's see here. Um, quests. Hmm. Blah. That didn't work very well. <laughs> There we go. Oh, heck up. Here. So you've been talking to Harden, eh? He's been looking for a way to usurp McNamara ever since the lockdown started. Don't get me wrong, he's a good man. But Elder McNamara has done all right by us. If it weren't for him, none of us would have survived at Helios. I'll tell you what I told Harden. <laughs> there have been only a few cases of elders being dismissed from their posts in the Brotherhood's history. And those involve crimes that someone like Elder McNamara is just not capable of. You can look it up for yourself if you want. I'll grant you access to that portion of the history section of our data store. See Senior Scribe Ibsen about accessing it. <laughs> Either enjoy it or hate it. I don't know. I guess I would at least have to look at the page and see if I would be interested in it. I don't know. I'm sure someone's told you all this before. Several years back, we were running our chapter out the Helios One solar power station. Our elder at the time, Elijah, had some kind of obsession with the place, which is the only reason we stayed as long as we did. That place was hardly defensible, and we knew the NCR was moving in on us, but the Elder refused to budge, insisting that he just needed more time. We never found out what he needed time for. Wave upon wave of NCR troopers hit us from all directions. We held out for a time, but we were grossly outnumbered, and they had more men than we had ammo. Eventually, our positions collapsed. Elder Elijah was nowhere to be found, so McNamara took charge and let what remained of us on a counteroffensive west. We lost a lot of men and women, but we broke through and made it here. Make no mistake, McNamara saved this chapter that day. <laughs> yep, I, uh, I'll try to remember to look at it after the stream, sometime today. Who was Elijah more like? He was our elder before McNamara. Bright guy, but just between you and me, he was a little off. Our mission is to recover and preserve the technology of the past, but Elijah wanted more. He sought ways to improve upon technology, make it better. When we found Helios One, he was like a kid in a candy store. He kept talking about the potential, and a grand design never realized. He even insisted we set up our base there, against the objection of nearly every paladin. What followed is a whole other story. Alright, now where am I going? Scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, oops, go back over here. Go this direction. <laughs> okay. Yep, reminding me of things is uh, usually good. <laughs> hmm. Okay. There have been reports that the 
NCR is moving more and more troops into the area. Aha! You. Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. Um, I don't recall having said that, Gaff. I don't know about that. Oh, there are patrols. Just not exploratory ones. We've been in a state of lockdown for, well, let's just say it's been a while. The only hmm. time anyone gets to go topside is guard. I don't know about that. Positions. Other than that, it's steel walls and fluorescent lights for us. That's not really for me to say. It's a bit of a touchy subject. You should probably forget I mentioned it. Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. <laughs> I don't know about that, guys. I don't I don't think I trust that. Mm. What? No, that brilliant it would let us seal a portion of the virus to a particular terminal even when the other parts move hmm terminal mini game huh uh, so we'll see you'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute any longer and it'll jump and you'll have to start all over locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible but the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish. But we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps, and we'll wipe the damn thing. I'll leave you to it. You don't like the lack of kappas? I see. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Ten seconds. Oh, this is not gonna work. Ah. Ah, uh, what? Damn it. Jumped. I thought we might have had it that time. Well, this is highly annoying. Hmm.
Did you want to try isolating the virus? All right. I'll monitor when it jumps. When I give this signal, start checking terminals. <laughs> Oops. Exit. Yeah, I I can relate to that. <laughs> Just jumped. Find which terminals it went to. Sounds incredibly annoying. Not sure I want to keep doing this right now. What else can I do? Let's see. Tab. Some special squad of rangers is on its way to the Vegas area. This means the Are relatively simple. Who are you talking to? <laughs> there have been reports that the NCR is moving more and more troops into the area. to discuss with you can wait for once I get settled in the command room outsider. Uh, okay. What I wish to discuss with you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get settled in the command room outsider. You're being watched, so don't get any ideas. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's see here. Alright, well, I think I will stop here because I am roasting and I apparently have got an email from the card guys, so I need to address that. And I need to get dinner. So, um, tomorrow is Tuesday, so I will be continuing with Fallout New Vegas. And, yeah, I will see you tomorrow. 
Have a good night.